Hi, Danny here, and today I'm going to be doing another product review. Today is a review of the Samsung Gravity Smart. Let me start off by saying that this is a phone for very, very light users, who aren't going to be doing many things on their phone at once. If you're looking for a phone that can do heavy browsing or playing HD games, this is not the phone for you. Alright, so here's the pros of the Gravity Smart. It does have a physical keyboard, which I think is the selling point for many people. Um, people coming from feature phones up to smartphones seem to feel more comfortable if they have the physical keyboard, like many feature phones do. So I think that's partially responsible for the popularity of this phone. Um, it does have a 3 megapixel back camera with LED flash. Uh, 3 megapixels is not very good, but at least it has the LED flash. Um, here are a few sample pictures that I've took. It also runs Android 2.2, known as Froyo. Now, as for the cons, there are quite a few of them. Um, the phone tends to lag or freeze whenever multiple applications are launched at once. Uh, it seems as though this phone, under T-Mobile's branding, comes with a ton more bloatware than many other phones do. And, more than anything, a large issue is phone storage. They do allow you to put in an SD card, but none of your pictures or applications or anything like that can be moved to the SD card. So the internal memory gets full very quickly, and then gives you all sorts of errors, like it can't retrieve your voicemail because of it, or get your text messages or anything like that. Um, the internal memory is only 150 megabytes, so it's not very much, and you can't fit many apps or pictures or anything like that on it. Uh, with all those cons being said, it is a great entry-level smartphone for novices, elderly people, or small children that seem to need a smartphone but don't do much with it. It does feature Samsung's TouchWiz user interface, which is quite user-friendly, although I'm not a big fan of it because it does seem to bog down the phone a little bit than if it was running stock Android. Um, thank you for watching my review, and be sure and check out some other of my videos, and subscribe if you like this. Thanks.